ONW hosted their third annual bone marrow drive this past Tuesday. Despite many misconceptions, all the bone marrow drive requires is a simple swabbing. Hi, this is Cammie Gibson alongside Allison Thomas. She just donated for the bone marrow drive, so how was it? It was actually a lot easier than I thought. Only took like 15 minutes. Um, everybody was super nice in there. I was a little worried because I didn't know for sure like how it would all go down, but it went really smoothly. Free food in there, so it was good. <laughs> what did you have to do to donate for the bone marrow drive? Um, I just had to fill out this like really easy form, just like my name, my number, and like my address. And then I just swiped each cheek for about 30 seconds, and then I turned it in and I got a cool sticker, so. After you swab, you are entered into the bone marrow registry until you turn 60 or request to be taken off the list. There is a 19% chance that an individual will be selected as a match. If you are selected as a match, you will do one of the two forms of bone marrow extraction. 85% of the time, a blood draw is taken, and 15% of the time, an extraction from the bone is taken. Last year, there were seven matches from the bone marrow drive. It's just a really amazing process. It only takes about 13 minutes, and I think that's just not a lot of time to give to save a life, so I think it's amazing. This year at the drive, 273 people registered. That's a total of 490 people registering in the past three years ONW has held the drive. Thank you to those who registered. For ONW Now, this has been Isabel Lobby. Now back to the desk.